ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चैगोणरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास उदीरे नष्ट प्रायशो भद्रेशु नित्यम भगवत सेवया भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्ति भवती नैष्टी हरे कृष्ण कंटिन्यू श्रीमद्भागत कैंट फर्स्ट चैप्टर एट प्रेयर्स वेद कुंती महाराणी श्लोका नंबर फोर्टी इमे जनपदा श्रुद्धा इमे जनपदा श्रुद्धा सुपक्व औषधी विरुद्ध सुपक्व औषधी वन अद्री नदी उदनवंत वन अद्री नदी उदनवंत हे ए दंते तव वीक्षित हे ए दंते तव वीक्षित इमे जनपदा श्रुद्धा इमे जनपदा श्रुद्धा सुपक्व औषधी विरुद्ध सुपक्व औषधी विरुद्ध वन अद्री नदी उदनवंत वन अद्री नदी उदनवंत हे ए दंते तव वीक्षित हे ए तव वीक्षित इमे जनपदा श्रुद्धा इमे जनपदा श्रुद्धा सुपक्व औषधी विरुद्ध सुपक्व औषधी विरुद्ध वन अद्री नदी उदनवंत वन अद्री नदी उदनवंत हे ए दंते तव वीक्षित हि ए दंते तव वीक्षित हरे कृष्ण इमे जनपदा स्वृद्धा सुपक्व औषधी विरुद्ध वन अद्री नदी उदनवंत हि ए दंते तव वीक्षित सीता माता जी थैंक यू प्रभु जी इमा इमा जनपद श्रद्धा सुपक्व औषधी विरुद्ध वन अद्री नदी उदनवंत औषधि विरुद्ध वन वन आद्रे वन आद्री नदी उद्वंत ही एधंते वीक्षित उदनवंत ट्रांसलेशन एंड परपट बेद श्रीला प्रभुपात जगत गुरु श्रीला प्रभुपात की जय ऑल दीज सिटीज एंड विलेजेस आर फ्लोरिशिंग इन ऑल रिस्पेक्ट बिकॉज द हर्ब्स एंड ग्रेन्स आर इन एबिडेंस द ट्रीज आर फुल ऑफ फ्रूट्स द रिवर्स आर फ्लोइंग द हिल्स आर फुल ऑफ मिनरल्स एंड द ओशन फुल ऑफ वेल्थ एंड दिस इज ऑल ड्यू टू युअर ग्लांसिंग ओवर देम Human prosperity flourishes by natural gifts and not by gigantic industrial enterprises. The gigantic industrial enterprises are a product of a godless civilization, and they cause the destructions of the noble aims of human life. The more we go on increasing such troublesome industries to squeeze out the vital energy of the human being. the more there will be unrest and dissatisfaction of the people in general although a few only can live lavishly by exploitation the natural gifts such as grains and vegetables fruits rivers the hills of jewels and minerals and the seas full of pearls are supplied by the order of the supreme and as he desires material nature produces them in abundance or restricts them at times the natural law is that the human being may take advantage of this godly gifts by nature and satisfactorily uh, flourish on them without being captivated by the exploitative motive of lording it over material nature the more we attempt to exploit material nature according to our whims of enjoyment the more we shall become entrapped by the reaction of such exploitative attempts 
if we have sufficient grains, fruits, vegetables, and herbs, then what is the necessity of running a slaughterhouse and killing poor animals? A man need not kill an animal if he has sufficient grains and vegetables to it. The flow of river waters fertilizes the fields, and there is more than what we need. Minerals are produced in the hills and the jewels in the ocean. If the human civilization has sufficient grains, minerals, jewels, water, milk, etc., then why should it anchor after terrible industrial enterprises at the cost of labor of some unfortunate men? But all these natural gifts are dependent on the mercy of the Lord. What we need, therefore, is to be obedient to the laws of the Lord and achieve the perfection of human life by devotional service. The, do, uh, uh, the indication by Kunti Devi are just to the point she desired that God's mercy be bestowed upon them so that natural prosperity be maintained by His grace. Om Jnana Timirandasya Jnana Anjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Eena Tasmai Sri Gurave Nama Sri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Stapitam Eena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swapadantikam Vande Am Sri Guru Sri Yuta Padakamalam Sri Guru Vaishnavancha Sri Rupam Sagrajatam Sagana Raghunatha Anvitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Sabadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padan Sagana Lalita Sri Vishakan Vitancha Namo Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Sri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nevishesha Shunyavadi Pashchata Deshatarine Vancha Kalpataru Becha Krupa Sinduve Evacha Patitanam Pavane Bio Vaishnava Bio Namo Nama Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Sri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Ram Ram Hare 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 Krishna. Uh, so many days from so many days we are uh, try to understand the prayers of Kunti Maharani and this is the most important shloka which uh, see, uh, she clearly speaks about the uh, prosperity of our country. What is important and what is not important? How our country is before uh, and now? What which we uh, told uh, the industrial development is our uh, development that is not good. It is clearly uh, told Prabhupada before fifty years before. So we must understand and uh, do uh, chintan on that subject which Prabhupada told and according to that when we do then we make progress in, uh, in our country and that progress is important not industrial progress is important Prabhuji will again uh, guide us uh, on this shloka in detail Hare Krishna so very important shloka after explaining that wherever there is Krishna, there is prosperity, Kunti Maharani is now giving us further inputs of what prosperity actually means. Because for different persons, it can be different. So when someone says, Sapka Saat, Sapka Vikas, everyone thought, yes, I'm going to get 15 lakh in my account. Very people 
were very few people were knowing that it would actually be more taxation or demonetization and giving everything to those who are not working. But then Krishna is not someone like that. When Krishna was there, there was real prosperity. And here is a very nice description of how can we can even materially become happy. Because the description which is coming in this 40th shloka is the description of material happiness. Sridha. So what it means is very flourished cities and towns. See, Krishna is complete. His arrangements are also complete. Purnamidam, Purnamada, Purnat, Purnam, Udachyate. We have learned this in Ishwapneshad invocation. Krishna gives us everything incomplete. And he ensures that whatever is the necessity for anyone is always available. Though we have come in this material world because of our mistake, still he is so merciful that he supplies everything, whatever is required for this fallen material body. We came to this material world for undergoing tribulation on account of our rebellious attitude towards Krishna. While we are made for serving Krishna, but we are rebel. Why shall I serve Krishna? I shall serve my senses. I don't want to be Krishna Das. I want to be Indriya Das or Maya Das. I shall remain independent without Krishna. This was our folly. And this is our folly even today. That is not possible. You have discussed already that without Krishna, there is no question of happiness. So what we are talking about is pure ignorance. Krishna bhuli sei jiva anadi bahir mukha ataiva maya tare deya sansara dukha See, our only fault is that we have forgotten Krishna. And we have come to enjoy this material world. So material enjoyment means sense gratification, which is material world. And spiritual world means no sense gratification, only activities for Krishna's satisfaction. In Chaitanya Charitam Red, this is clearly mentioned. Krishna Bhuliya Sei Jiva Anadi Bahir Mukha. Because we forgot Krishna, we have become Bahir Mukha. And because of that, what is happening? Attaiva Maya Tare Deya Sansara Dukha. Maya is giving him the material agony, unhappiness. So this is material world. But see, Krishna is merciful. So what he has done is, he is still giving us an opportunity of converting the material world into spiritual world. How? With Krishna consciousness. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Wherever there is Krishna consciousness, there Krishna is present. And everything is used for Krishna's pleasure. So then this becomes spiritual world. Otherwise, material world. Sarvam Khalu Idam Brahma. This comes in Chantokya Upanishad. Everything is Krishna and Krishna's energy. Now Krishna's energy is not different from Krishna. Just like sunshine is not different from sun. So when we feel sunshine, we know that there is sun behind it. Right? So similarly, when we understand Krishna's energy, we can understand Krishna. Parasya Shakti Vividhaya He has got multiple energies. So we should just try to understand about Krishna's different energies. Now here Kunti Maharani is giving a very very good example of how the cities and towns can be happy. In fact, Prabhupada Ji says that we should be eager to become happy even in cities and towns. How? With the help of the things which are mentioned in this shloka. Aushadha Virudhaha, then forests, Adri, Nadi. So there should be a lot of trees, plantations, herbs. 
so a forest of herbs adrihi and then nadi not like the rivers that we have today which are polluted nadi means very clear water where the waves are flowing what we get nowadays is all industrial pollution the sewage everything thrown into the river making it completely impure and unsuitable for usage by any living entity that is not what makes a city prosperous but today what we think is the industries they make it prosperous the government is after industrialization they feel that we should become better than china we should become manufacturing hub but then at what cost and even if we become manufacturing hub even if we have a lot of money if we don't have food will there be happiness no so cities towns they used to be there mathura was a very good city dwarika we have seen the description so many times in fact in mathura there were so many gardens in earlier ages when guests used to come or kings used to come they used to be kept in all these garden palaces they used to be treated there but what we have today is absolutely no green cover that is not something which is recommended this shloka talks about what gives us happiness kunti devi is saying imajana padah sruddh supaka aushadi virudha see she never said that towns and cities are flourishing on account of having so many industries slaughter houses brothels cinema clubs night clubs malls no there was no such thing these are all modern inventions to make the whole world hellish you want to get rich then how can we get riches where from vanadri nadi udanvantah from seas from river from hills we can get valuable jewels gems pearls all natural resources so when india used to be called as sone ki chidiya or the golden bird formerly it was depending on these things gold silver jewel pearls silk not industry and from the forest from the herbs from food grains all natural products you all know the story of how narad muni made a hunter a disciple so he dragged him to the river side of ganges and gave him a tulsi plant and told him you sit here and chant hari krishna mantra and the tulsi plant is here you offer obeisances now the hunter he sat there but he thought this muni has taken away my occupation how will i get my food narad muni said don't worry i'll arrange for that in the center he sat there he chanted and very soon this information spread everywhere and everyone wanted to understand who is this hunter vaishnava everyone became attracted and then whenever they used to come they used to always come and bring something in offerings and thus he never had to think of food he got everything he was just praying it is a custom of grihasthas that when a grihastha goes to see a saintly person he should bring some gift however insignificant it is at least a palmful of rice dal or atta you have to put there give something but nowadays in kali yuga you have forgotten all these activities people nowadays go meet and say please give us your offerings please give us your blessings i am not going to give you any they come empty handed darshana you are a saintly person give me darshan give me your ashirwad then i'll enjoy my senses that's all nothing to give you but you give me your ashirwad ha huh? you give me the lotus the dust of your lotus feet i become benefited you stop this is not the process 
shastras tell us that the grihastas have the responsibility to support the brahmacharis and the sanyasis and the vanaprasthas the hunter followed the instruction of his guru maharaj narad muni chanting hare krishna and sitting very peacefully so people would come they were surprised so many people came and heaps of atta heaps of rice heaps of vegetables so in fact he became little agitated what shall i do with so much quantity why is he sending so much the simply two husband and wife so why is this so you see krishna supplies everything whatever we need whatever we require we just have to have full faith on a vaishnava who is dependent on krishna there cannot be any want for him Krishna says that. If one is actually dependent on Krishna, there is no question of scarcity. Sukhdeva Goswami instructs, Kasmat Bhajanti Kavayo Dhana Dharma Nandana. He says to saintly persons to become independent. Why are you anxious for wedding? There is very nice grass. You have got pillows, this hand, arms. You can lie down here. Where is the necessity of keeping a water pot? Nothing. You have your palms. You can take water from river and drink. Chirani Kimpati Nasan. So we have to change our palms. The moment we understand what is our necessity, we also understand that everything is supplied by Krishna. <laughs> there can be no scarcity. This is called Ime Janapadha Sridha. Sridha means opulent. Towns were opulent, villages were opulent. They all depended on trees, plants, river, mountain, sea. They were experts. They could go underneath the sea, pick up the pearls, which is very valuable. So, that is how human prosperity is. It flourishes by natural gifts, not by gigantic industrial enterprises. Every town today has got industrial area. Big, big industries are flourishing. But then, you get good salary, you work there so hard, you will get good salary. But the result is, we are not happy. And when we are not happy, what happens is, some people take to wine and me. So this with the whole world. In India, it never used to be there. Even Gandhiji, he wanted to stop this wine flesh. But unfortunately, the government today is encouraging. It is very regrettable. So godless civilization. They can no more depend on natural gifts. And that is wrong. So, what we need to understand from this shloka is, let us get out of this mentality. Let us understand what Krishna is talking about. Annad Bhavanti Bhutan. How the division of the society should be made. Chatur Varnyam Maya Srishtam Guna Karma Yubakasha. Social, political. In fact, Krishna is telling Arjuna, you must fight. They have committed so much injustice upon you, so you must fight. Don't consider that he is your brother or anyone. You must fight. See, if you talk of Bhishma Dev, he was a good person, but he went to the side of Duryodhana, considering that these people are maintaining me. How can I give up their company at the time of death? Similarly, Dronacharya. He also went to uh, Duryodhana's side for money. Therefore, nobody came to Pandava's head. So Krishna says, did for that. Sathe Satyam Chareta. Chanakya Pandita says. If someone is Shatha, Shatha means very cunning, so you should be also cunning. Now here Kunti is speaking to Krishna how to live. 
by the association of krishna how people will be happy how they shall live happily in towns and cities we should always remember that prabhupada started this movement for all round development of human society not a sentimental religious movement it is based on the teachings of krishna and for krishna it is based on teachings of bhagavata it is granth bhagavata granth avatar vaishnava is always happy there can be no unhappiness because he has got krishna yam labdhva cha param labham manyate na adikam tata when he has got krishna where is unhappiness where is want he has nothing no such thing as unhappy but he is unhappy seeing others who have forgotten krishna who are unhappy prahlad maharaj se like shoche tato vimukh chetas i am lamenting only for those people who have forgotten you and forgetting you that trying to become happy by so many revision things maya sukhaya bharam udvahato vimodha they want to happy by inventing machine for shaving also you see everything is becoming polluted and this shloka makes us understand what actually has to be done the formula is given by rupa goswami anasaktasya vishayan yatharham upajayunjatah nirbandha krishna sambandhe yuktam vairagyam uchyate so let us try to understand this let us again tell everything to us that even if there are material activities it has to be used for the advantage of krishna we are using this zoom right now who has invented whoever but the energy is being utilized for krishna's purpose so dotel everything dotel in krishna's service without krishna we cannot be happy that is the right conclusion and that is stated here that everything is flourished on account of your presence and we have repeatedly been trying to understand that we can keep krishna always present by being krishna conscious by always chanting then everything will be nice we shall be happy either in town or in forest everywhere hare krishna thank you very much